Hey, I'm Fish. Thank you very much for joining the channel. If you like, show a post, share a love, show a show. We have some lights up ahead. We're gonna go check it out and continue our ride on. I have my settings 4K, I think 24. I'm not 100% sure, but I know my ISO, everything else is, you know, defaulted. And I have my EV value to on the negative side. And I beefed it up just a little bit more. It's an ambulance. That's what the lights were. So let's continue on. We're talking about the DJI Action 3. Yeah. I'm using the internal sounds. And I am not shouting to the camera. If I don't shout to the camera, maybe the wind overpowers my voice, as you may hear. Oh, we got the police. They went up the wrong way. There they go. You have to have eyes on the back of your head. Whoop. Look at that. There, you see a car flashing. What do you do? You keep on going. I'm definitely on Rocksteady Plus, and I have the microphone facing front. And I'm talking in a morning voice. And the reason why we're talking in a morning voice is to see how well the Action 3 can do in a windy, subtle condition. Wind is always present over here. It never dies down. Never. Hey, I'm Fish. There's a big difference when you talk nice and soft to a camera. You want to be heard and you want to project your voice so everyone can hear what you're saying. You have to have a stage voice. You got to do things and emphasize. If you don't, it's very hard to read. Well, we could do text-to-speech, and I may have to turn around and go home and do this another day as electrical is striking the sky. Supposed to have some torrential storms again, pass by. Now, I could also tell you, hey, put the closed caption on. And then let me tell you, YouTube closed caption, oh man, it is funny as can be, man. It'll put words in your mouth like there's no tomorrow. I did a mic wireless and I have no idea why a wind muff with plastic covers a button that I don't even know is useful. It looked like a good mic, but it was a lot lower when I use it for the Action 3. I'm not a fan of wireless mics for the Action 3 camera because DJI basically cut off the passive of the port so you can't hook up a mic and you can't hook up AC power at the same time the camera cannot handle it but the action one handled it and that is something that's totally different so maybe down in the future the next model that ever comes out they may just make a Bluetooth microphone and have it sit on the side for what they have done. It's also amazing what they've done with the gyro and hyperlapse, causing the camera to do what it wants. But what do you expect from a budget action camera? And I've been saying that for the longest time. DOA is the best in the world. It's one of the best budget cameras you can get. This sign right here, <laughs> not an English word on there. And today, that's how things are done just like that.
post down below what that sign said to you. At least we could read that sign. Oh, let me get back to my action three story. Now it's nice and uh, peaceful. The wind is not blowing and I can save my voice and I yell. We got so much noise. You could hear a truck running in the distance. You could have heard that motorcycle scream for the past two, three miles and the highway's not even near here. And you got trucks and buses and people and wind and just noise pollution. And we have the most sensitive microphones. I forget, I don't have to yell to a camera. All you have to do is like that sign. Adjust your volume as high as you want. Turn on a closed caption. But does that closed caption go to your language as well? Can you choose a language on closed caption if I just do the universal thing? Well, you know the story. I said a lot, I did a lot, I talked a lot, and I got a lot of things to do and a lot of things to answer for. And I must get it done.